Hello YouTube, welcome to the HK Cowboys channel. My name is Kay the Magnificent and this is the Coat Man. Hello. And today we're going to quickly review the story for Destiny House of Wolves DLC. Woo. <laughs> first things first, let's talk about the plot itself. It essentially boils down to the Fallen turning against the Awoken Queen of the Reef. The story focuses on Skolas, who apparently wants to do some weird time doohickey stuff where, using Vex technology, he wants to move the Fallen through time, or something. Honestly, it's a Destiny plotline, so it's not too sensible through the game itself. I imagine the Grimoire cards have a lot more light to shed, but, you know, we have jobs, so no time for reading. <laughs> anyway, opinions. Co, what did you think of the story? Uh, I liked it. Which is to say it was better than the other Destiny stories. Well, yeah, that kind of it almost goes without saying because it had a story. Mm, but which... in terms of a plot-driven gameplay, it, it didn't really deliver much no, you know, compared true. to other plot-driven games. But I guess that's not what Destiny's there for, really, is it? No, it's it, shoot things in the head and yeah, then watch them explode. And unlike The Dark Below, it, I felt compelled to keep playing these storylines. So. That's true. That's very true. Okay, what about the new weapons? We've got the, the Vestian Dynasty, which is the new... The only one I've used is the Vestian Dynasty. I haven't actually got any of the new, other new weapons yet, so... Well, there seems there's an exotic, and I think that might be the only other sidearm at the moment. Not entirely sure what that's about. Uh, but what do you think of the Vestian Dynasty? It's good. It's good. I didn't like it at first, uh, but I think that was just the way I was using it. I was using it with the wrong weapon pairings, uh, but I started using it as a really fun combo with my hunter as a hand cannon Vestian Dynasty combo. Just yeah, that's why I tend to rock as well. Really fun. It's like consistent pistols. Yeah. No, never ending pistols. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what about Petra and Varrick? They're quite essential to the story. You've got Petra Venge. So much less annoying than Eris. Oh, so God. much less annoying Crota, than Eris. They're baking him. <laughs> they're, they're tolerable, and I, I quite like their script. Their scripting is is, is is cool. Yeah, like they have they have interesting little lines in it, like you know Petra being consistently like, "Oh, I so love field work," <laughs> and and Varix just making his slight odd Yoda comments yeah. is, is quite cool. Yeah. So yeah, they're much better than Eris. I'll give you that. And uh, and there's some new features as well. Like you've got those you've got these weird minds that like. Uh, if you, if they go off, they have this stupid white cloud of spunk, and if yeah. you get stuck in it, everything goes slow. It was really nice having those little new features in because it was quite fun playing through the the new stuff for the first time and having to figure out. <laughs> yeah, being how like, these what's this? <laughs> because, I mean, I got the game later than everybody else, so Dark Below had already dropped from by the time I got the game, so I, I didn't, I haven't really had that feeling of new things in Destiny because. You know, it was all new when I started playing, so yeah. it was quite nice to have that feeling of. of and yet, the dog below was mechanics. still disappointing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. So 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 yeah. You've got those, and you've got these electric shanks, which are just like an extra level of annoying. Yeah, you know? they're like they're like the cursed thralls, but shanks. Which it's... yeah, it's just awful. Uh, lastly, we've got level design. Something to talk about. Like, um, it's really cool that you get to do things like you get to go into the bottle glass. I really liked that. Yeah. But it it does seem to be heavily reliant on let's take this strike and then go backwards. Yeah. through the strike because yeah. you've got it with the Archon Priest one is the first mission just in reverse and you've got the one where it does like the first mission you do when you go back outside the walls is practically the same where it's yeah. reversed and there's another one as well I felt like they could have probably done more with that you know they took you back outside the walls but it, it was basically an arena outside the walls there wasn't really anything there would have been nice to do maybe more with that and expand yeah. that area and, and have a level going through that rather than walking into it and then just fighting waves of enemies in this open area. It's probably because, you know, it's cheaper. They had yeah. that, they had the area designed and then it was only used for like two seconds when you start the game. So I imagine they were just like, oh, well, we've got that kicking about. Let's, let's yeah. use that. I mean, yeah, it's just it's just a case of they, they had interesting ideas, but they could have utilised the better or expanded on them. But Yeah, definitely. So so overall, what are, what are your thoughts? Do you, do, you, do you approve of the story? Yeah, overall, I, I enjoyed it. I, I felt compelled to keep playing it, especially the first time playing it through. And um, the biggest thing that I noticed was it, it feels more like Halo than anything else in the Destiny. <laughs> Definitely. Felt Especially like the last level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed the last level. Yeah, so much, so much Halo. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm the same boat. I very much approve of it. Much better than Dark Below by miles. Um, and I actually enjoyed running through the levels with each character. I didn't find it painfully annoying like I did with the dark below stuff so yeah i approve 
we approve we're yeah. all very happy Woo. well uh, that's it for this video and the review of the story for the Destiny DLC leave us a comment if you agree with us disagree with us or just want to tell us how sexy we sound and like and subscribe if you're into that sort of thing uh, yeah see you next video yeah Kane Co out